electrode potential and standard hydrogen electrode. I will teach you all these important concepts in a super easy way. First of all, let me quickly revise oxidation and reduction. We know that reduction means reduce or decreasing. For example, consider these reactions. In the first case, the oxidation number is reducing from positive 2 to 0. Hence, it is reduction. In the second case, the oxidation number is not reducing but increasing from 0 to plus 2. Hence, it is oxidation. Thus, remember that if oxidation number is reducing, it is reduction. If oxidation number is not reducing but increasing, it is oxidation. Here, let me teach you one of my personal tricks. I always write car O. This C stands for cathode and R stands for reduction. So, cathode is an electrode where reduction occurs. This A stands for anode and O stands for oxidation. So, anode is an electrode where oxidation occurs. Just remember this car O trick which will help you in electrochemistry. Now we will learn all about electrode potential. First of all, I take this zinc electrode. I keep it in its own electrolyte solution like zinc sulfate solution. To master electrode potential, we must learn forward process and backward process. In the forward process, the flow is from the electrode and to solution. For example, electrode is solid zinc. It loses two electrons to become zinc plus two ion. I mean, this zinc plus two ion dissolves in zinc sulfate solution. Remember that when zinc atom dissolves in the solution, it leaves negative charge on the electrode. Can you guess the oxidation and reduction in this forward process? Well, the oxidation state of zinc is not decreasing but increasing from 0 to plus 2. Hence, zinc is oxidized. Thus, we learn that in forward process, zinc electrode dissolves in zinc sulfate solution and negative charge appears on the electrode. On the other hand, in the backward process, the flow is from the solution towards the electrode. For example, there are so many zinc plus 2 ions, while on the electrode, there are negative charges. These positive zinc plus 2 ions will be attracted by negative charges on electrode. As a result, zinc plus 2 ions will gain electron to become solid zinc atom. This solid zinc atom is deposited on the electrode. Can you guess oxidation and reduction in this backward process? Well, the oxidation state of zinc ion is plus 2 and it is decreasing from plus 2 to 0. Hence, zinc is reduced. Thus, we learn that in backward process, zinc plus 2 ions deposit on electrode. Secondly, Reduction occurs in the backward process. Due to this forward process and backward process, dynamic equilibrium is established. I mean, after some time, forward process becomes equal to backward process. Like the rate of zinc electrode dissolving in the solution is equal to the zinc ions depositing on the electrode. I mean, a 5 zinc atom ionizes into solution to form zinc ions, then 5 zinc ions deposits on the electrode. This stage is called dynamic equilibrium. Now we will summarize this whole concept. We will use two important terms throughout this lecture, charges and ions. By charges, I mean negative charge density on electrode, by ions, I mean zinc plus 2 ions in the solution. We already know that 
there are excess electrons present on the electrode. Secondly, there are excess positive ions in the solution. Now listen carefully. There is difference in charge density which we call potential difference. This potential difference between negative charge and positive ions is developed due to zinc electrode. Thus we call it electrode potential. Therefore, in short words, we defined electrode potential as the potential difference between an electrode and its solution is called electrode potential. Let me repeat it. The potential difference between an electrode and its solution is called electrode potential. Remember that we represent electrode potential by E. Let's note it down all these important points. Now we will learn oxidation potential and reduction potential. In simple words, if electrode is oxidized, its potential difference is known as oxidation potential. Secondly, if electrode is reduced, its potential difference is called reduction potential. Now what is oxidation potential? Well, consider zinc electrode. Let solid zinc loses two electrons to become zinc plus two ions. Here, the oxidation state of zinc increases from zero to positive two, hence zinc is oxidized. In this case, the potential of electrode is known as oxidation potential. Therefore, we define oxidation potential as the potential developed at an electrode when it loses electrons and undergo oxidation is called oxidation potential. We write oxidation potential as electrode potential E. We know that solid zinc becomes zinc plus 2 ion by losing 2 electrons. This electrode potential is known as oxidation potential. Now we will learn reduction potential. For example, consider this copper electrode. Let copper plus 2 ion gains 2 electrons to become solid copper and it is deposited on copper electrode. The oxidation state of copper decreases from plus 2 to 0, hence it is reduced. In this case, the potential of electrode is known as reduction potential. Therefore, we define reduction potential as the potential difference at an electrode when it gains electrons and undergo reduction is called reduction potential. We write electrode potential E. We know that copper plus 2 ions gains 2 electrons to become copper. This electrode potential is known as reduction potential. Here you must learn this very very important question. What is the relationship between oxidation potential? and reduction potential. Well, for the same electrode, oxidation potential is equal to minus reduction potential. For example, in case of zinc electrode, its oxidation potential is equal to its reduction potential. I mean, if the oxidation potential of zinc electrode is 0.76, then its reduction potential is minus 0.76. This negative sign means reverse flow of electrons. Remember that by convention or by tradition, we always consider reduction potential. Let me repeat it. By tradition or by convention, we always consider reduction potential and we will learn more about it in our next lecture. Hence note it down all these important points. Now before teaching she our standard hydrogen electrode, let me teach you two important questions. Why we need to study standard hydrogen electrode? Well, consider zinc electrode and its solution. Remember that we cannot measure absolute or single electrode potential. I mean, we cannot measure the absolute electrode potential of zinc. Therefore, we select standard hydrogen electrode 
to measure electrode potential of all elements against it secondly pi hydrogen gas is selected and standard hydrogen electrode well it is because hydrogen gas can act both as anode and cathode secondly its electrode is reversible thirdly hydrogen gas is universally available therefore we use hydrogen gas and standard electrode here remember this very very important point by international agreement standard hydrogen electrode is equal to 0.00 volt i mean this value is not zero or it is not measured but we consider or we only assume that standard hydrogen electrode is equal to 0.00 volt now we will learn all about she or standard hydrogen electrode in the standard hydrogen electrode we use three important things the first one is platinum electrode remember that it is inert electrode i mean it doesn't participate in the oxidation or reduction reaction it only provides surface for redox reaction the second is hydrogen gas it is passed over platinum electrode at a pressure of 1 bar the third is acidic solution like hcl its concentration is taken as 1 m at 298 kelvin or 25 degree centigrade now we will construct the cell i take the platinum electrode it is present in the glass tube secondly we take 1 m solution of hcl at 298 kelvin thirdly we introduce hydrogen gas at 1 bar into this inlet here can you guess its oxidation potential and reduction potential well we know that at platinum surface hydrogen gas loses two electrons to form hydrogen ions these ions go into the solution here hydrogen is oxidized the oxidation potential of hydrogen is e not oxidation is equal to plus 0. 00 volt it is because we assume that its oxidation potential and reduction potential are always zero now what about reduction potential at platinum surface hydrogen ions from the acidic solution gains two electrons and form hydrogen gas here hydrogen ions are reduced the reduction potential of hydrogen is E not reduction is equal to minus zero point zero zero volt because we assume that its reduction potential is zero. Therefore, remember that standard hydrogen electrode is a reference electrode which consists of a platinum electrode in contact with hydrogen gas at one bar pressure. Secondly, it has aqueous solution. which contains 1m hydrogen ions at 298 kelvin thirdly we assume that its electrode potential is 0.00 volt in the next video we will learn all about standard electrode potential